just made it to the big island. We just landed. It's windy and cloudy. We got all our luggage and now we're just waiting for my dad. He's grabbing the rental car. on the big island and we have a big pad. The first thing we have is this massive closet for no reason really, all right? And then here we got a little cute kitchen action, a nice fridge, nice stove top, washer dryer, all that jazz. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And if you come this way, we have a huge living room with a huge dining table, island with the bar stools, a very nice couch, TV, and we got a beautiful, huge lanai outside. Oh, gosh. So if we walk out here, it's like I'm not going to talk as well because it's nice and peaceful out here. But as you can see, we have a nice view at the golf course and everything. It's huge. Move on to this area. This is the master bedroom with a nice king bed, nice closet, a nice full-length mirror for outfit picks, a lot of storage here, and this beautiful bathroom, which I'm quite obsessed with. Nice, large shower and toilet over here. All right, now let's go on. This is my parents' side. Let's go on to me and my sister's side now. So this is the other side. This is me and my sister's bathroom. Also another very nice bathroom in here. We got a tub, a nice shower. And then this is our room. We get our own beds this year, which usually we have to share a bed. And then we also have access to the large lanai. Thanks for coming along, MTV. Good morning. It is our first full day here. I'm currently sitting out on the lanai. It is 6.47 a.m. And, oh! Oops. I woke up at like 4 a.m. this morning, which is like 7 a.m. my time, which is the, usually the time I wake up every day. But I was like, I might as well sleep in. So I slept until like 6.15. I woke up and then I came out here. Um, just sat out here, went on my phone, and then I think, uh, me and my mom are gonna go to Island Vintage Coffee, which I'm so happy they have an Island Vintage Coffee here now, because that is, like, one of my favorite things to get when I'm in Hawaii, but I know that they only have it, or I thought they used to only have it on Oahu and Maui, but now they have one at the King Shops here in Waikoloa, which is so nice. And also last night we got to see the turtle sleeping, um, which was so cute. We actually got to see a turtle like wash up on the shore and like sleep for the night. It was so cute. I've never like seen like a turtle just like wash up on the shore just to go to sleep. So that was like a really cute experience. But yeah, let's get our day started. Matcha, and I also got a Hopi Moana bowl. I really want. 
wanted the island latte, which is like macadamia nut and coconut, but they ran out of macadamia nut syrup. So I'll just get it next time. But also, this location doesn't do like the food, like the taro bagel or anything. Like they don't have the food here yet. They're definitely like, they just opened. So maybe that's why, but yeah. I'm so excited for my food. Probably is like my favorite coffee shop to ever exist. So I just got my bowl. It looks so good. couple of hours since I last vlogged. My family and I were packing up the car right now. We're gonna go to Hapuna Beach. My mom braided my hair. It looks really cute. I'm also gonna put this bucket hat on. What a look. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Hapuna Beach. Just chill. I've been kind of waiting for this all day. But yeah, I'm so excited. I have this bikini on from Black Bow. A sarong from the Oahu flea market last year and then I have matching like bikini bottoms so yay <laughs> ocean my sister and I rode some nice big waves 10 out of 10 the water was literally perfect now I'm just chilling here on the mat taking a wa a water break because you gotta stay hydrated also my lashes still look good like and I just got destroyed by some waves it's holding up. L'Oreal waterproof mascara doing its job. But yeah, we're out here. So, pro tip put your hair in like French or like Dutch braids when you go in the ocean because if not, your hair, or at least in my case, your hair will get so tangled and so effed up. So, literally, anytime I go in the ocean, I have my mom braid my hair for me so that it just like doesn't get tangled or anything. Tip. Food land haul. Stopped at Food Land on the way home. Spicy tuna roll. Ina got California roll. Butter mochi. One of the best things on the planet. We got some delicious looking popcorn chicken. And lastly, some delicious popping. Popping? <laughs> some delicious 
orange chicken, which looks fire because they're small pieces of chicken. If you know me, I like my orange chicken in small pieces, so this is perfect. camera's gonna fall but <laughs> we are starting off the morning at the grand waikoloa village we are not staying here but you can buy a pass to come here for like three days so today's our first day so exciting i love it here there's just so much to do here earlier we saw the dolphins getting fed in the morning and then we just like checked out the pool and walked around and now we're just chilling by the lagoon I'm probably going to go snorkeling in a little bit and try to find some turtles and then what's really cool about this is like you can also like leave the lagoon and just like go out to the ocean which is like one of my favorite parts so I'm going to do that later today too. Um, we secured a nice little spot here on the grass in the shade. Ina's over there chilling on the hammock. We just got done at Waikoloa Village for the morning and now we're at the Queen's Shops. We're heading to the Island Gourmet Market because last night we came here and they had some really good food options right here. So we're going to try it out. It looks really good. I'm very excited. It's also a beautiful day out. I love it. because my dad's having a bunch of his friends over tonight. Ah! She's cooking pancit and lumpia, which is gonna be really good. My sister's gonna go to the pool and I'm gonna go back to the Waikoloa village and just chill there, like read my book, tan, dip a little in the water. My dad's chauffeuring me to the place, so I don't have to walk. Thank you, dad. <laughs> and yeah. Well, nice relaxing afternoon at the Waikoloa Village. Thank you, Dad. Bye. Currently walking to the lagoon. I wanted to give a little OOTD because I'm obsessed with my outfit today. Basically all from Black Bow Swim. I'm literally a walking ad for them during the summer. There's a nice little ledge here to do my outfit. Oh, better ledge. Here we go. Top Black Bow Swim bikini Sophia top from Black Bow Swim in Coco. Sophia bottoms and cocoa. I think that's the color. Little black cover up Amazon tote bag, honeymoon and co. Hydro Island Vintage Coffee. Sunglasses, Princess Polly. Look at how pretty this view is. I love it here. 
I absolutely love it here. That is it for my OOTD. which made me very happy. I tried to go out earlier this morning and see one, but I had no luck. But luckily we saw one this time and he was so big and so cute. And then we also went out of the lagoon into like the actual ocean. We didn't see that much there. Um, and then I also sat on the hammock for, I don't even know how long, like an hour and a half and or like two hours and I was literally just like reading my book. I'm reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I've heard that book is really good. I really like it so far. I just want to find out what happens. So like I'm reading it as fast as I can. It's kind of like binge watching a show where you're like reading, which is like good for you. So I think now I'm gonna head back to the room because I'm getting hungry now, either that or I'm gonna go to the shops and walk around but i don't know i definitely need to like wash off my body with like fresh water so i think i'm gonna go do that too here's the hammock i was sitting at currently around 8 a.m. We just made it to the Kona Farmer's Market. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Um, we're just about to walk around. It's pretty small, but they have like, they look like they have some cute things. So we're gonna check it out. Also, here's my outfit for today. We have a bikini from Kalani's Kinis, a thrifted Hawaiian shirt, and my Hawaiian skirt from the flea market in Oahu last year. We just picked up some McD's. Ina got a Portuguese sausage plate, yum. Only here in Hawaii you can get Portuguese sausage and spam plates. I got a uh, what did I get? Mm -hmm. Egg McMuffin muffin and hash brown. So we're in Kona about to try this new shave ice place. It's called Scandinavian Shave Ice. So we just got our shave ice. Let me do a little shave ice haul. I got Magna ice cream, Ube, Malona, and condensed milk. So fire. Yeah. Yeah. What do you get? Hey y'all. I got Malona, vanilla, and Ube with 
Tahitian vanilla in the middle and condensed milk on top. What you know about that? I don't think you know anything about that. So good. Father's Day or his birthday. Couldn't pass that up. And then my sister is also getting the similar shorts and like a matching set. And she also wants a bracelet. Also, since she just graduated for her grad gift, I'm kind of just buying her whatever she wants. So shopping. today bright and early at a brisk 6 46 a.m we are headed to a black sand beach i forget what it's called dad what's the place we're going to call palulu valley palulu valley we've been there before it's really cool so we wanted to go back and yeah we just arrived it looks absolutely stunning i'm so excited we did this a couple of years ago and we wanted to come back because it's just incredible and there's really nothing else like it in the world. I love it. Skip rocks. The most I got was five. The most gifts my sister got was six. And we were doing cartwheels in the sand and just enjoying the sun. The sun came out. It was so cloudy earlier, but I'm so happy the sun came out. So great morning at the beach. 10 out of 10. I'm currently out shopping at the King Shops. And you can't tell what this is, but I just bought an art piece from Heather Brown. She's my favorite artist. I don't know a lot of artists, but I know her and she's my favorite. I'm obsessed with her style and her art. So I bought my first piece from her. I'll insert a picture of it here on the screen. I'm so excited about it. It's one of her newer ones. So that's really nice. And I can't wait to hang it up in my place. Yeah. And I'm gonna do some more shopping now. I think I'm gonna go get some Island Vintage Coffee right there. So that just sounds really good. So I just got 
got done shopping i was only here for maybe like 20 minutes i really just wanted to go back to the malibu t-shirt shop to get that dog shirt i bought it because i saw it yesterday and i was like "Ooh, that's really cute i think i want it and i just bought it today um and then i had to return and exchange something and now i'm just gonna go back to the hotel my dad's gonna pick me up and i really want to lay out and um try to finish my book today because last time i laid out i was there for like an hour and a half and i read like over a hundred pages of my book so i think i can finish it today i just want to know what happened i want to know who killed andy i'm reading a good girl's guide to murder so i just want to figure it out also the people here that were like checking me out when i was shopping were so nice the lady at the gallery was super sweet telling me some fun facts about the artist um heather brown whose art i bought and then the lady at the malibu shirt shop she's so sweet um she saw that i was like carrying the uh the art like in my hand because like my bag wasn't big enough to fit it so she like offered me and like gave me a bigger bag to put it in which was like so nice of her so having a great day anyway so now i'm just waiting for my dad to pick me up i'm gonna go back to the room change into my bikini go to the lagoon and just lay out in the sun get a nice tan read a nice book probably hop in the water for a little bit so i'll see you there Kaloa Beach. It's super early. I think it's about 7 a.m. so there's really no one here. We just saw a huge turtle sleeping on the sand of the beach and he's so cute and so big. Um, and now we're gonna go snorkeling in the water to see if we can see and watch any turtles eating this morning. So yeah, about to have a good time. got done snorkeling it was pretty cool we saw about four sea turtles out there i even saw an octopus for the very first time it was really cool i was like snorkeling and then i like saw it and i was like that's a really weird looking fish because i saw it for like one second then it like went behind a rock and then so i went closer to the rock and it was literally staring at me with its two eyes and i was like that's an octopus <laughs> and then i tried to like get a better look at it but then like it went under the rock and then we were getting out of the water and unfortunately my sister stepped on a sea urchin and it was like hidden in the sand because it was like super low tide this is not her first time stepping on a sea urchin or getting i mean i mean getting stung by a sea urchin um so that's unfortunate so luckily I had to pee because I have the smallest bladder in the world and I peed in my snorkel mask so we could have some sort of like container to have it in and like I just like poured it on her wounded area. So, great morning. <laughs>
shave ice from Scandinavian shave ice. I got vanilla ice cream because they ran out of magnet today or they didn't have it with Malona, Ube, and condensed milk. There's another hole. There's another entrance over there too. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at oh, this I beautiful know. land. It looks fake. <laughs> Coffee for probably like another year. So sad. <laughs> 